5200 block of South Union in Des Moines. KCCI's Kim St. Ange is in the newsroom. Kim, police are crediting the victim's friend for saving her life. Right, Stacey, the victim's friend told police she walked inside the home right as 33-year-old Michael Lajunis was holding the victim down in the bathtub and trying to strangle her to death. It's still unclear what led 33-year-old Michael Lajunis to nearly beat his girlfriend to death inside this Southside Des Moines home. Police say what's for certain is the severity of her injuries. He uh, pretty much beat her pretty severely about the face, uh, she gave us pretty significant injuries in her face and head area. Her documents revealing Lajunis allegedly punched her and slapped her face several times. Then the assault almost turned deadly. He moved her to the bathroom. Uh, placed her in the bathtub, restrained her in the bathtub while I tried to strangle her with a shower curtain. This all while reportedly telling her, quote, now I have to kill you and you're going to die tonight. The victim's friend told police she was there visiting, saw the assault, and called 911. Had she not taken that swift action, this probably would be a totally different story. La Junice's neighbors in Johnston have mixed feelings about the allegations. Yeah, it's scary. No, yeah, really scary. Until he's proved guilty of it. I don't think there's any issue. KCCI has learned La Junis has a violent history, including in 2014 when he was charged with assault with intent to commit sexual abuse. He pleaded guilty to assault and was sentenced to 30 days in jail. It does get frustrating when we're dealing with the same people over and over again. La Junis is back in the Polk County Jail today. This time, he's being held without bond. It's our opinion that he's very dangerous and the only place that's appropriate for him is prison. Authorities are also charging La Junis with